Here's a quick tip for owners of the GTEC Mizar S 3D printer. The filament runout sensor is designed in a bit of an odd way that uh, this is a bit of an oversight. As you can see up in the, 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 the lip of this thing, there's a groove forming where my filament is feeding in. Uh, this will actually, I've seen images of this online, it'll eventually eat through the top there and leave a big old hole in your filament sensor and you can make some scraping and squeaking noises. It's uh, pretty rough, but you can see that there's these little ridges on the inside. I originally thought this was just for guiding the uh, the filament, uh, but no, actually they include a tiny little piece of um, PTFE tubing or Bowden tube, and it's meant to be installed on there before you put the filament on, obviously. And that gives it a nice little channel to flow into. It'll stop eating away at the plastic on the top, and it uh, it just feeds it a little more smoothly. It also kind of pulls it away from the um, uh, the sensor there makes it come down a little smoother and you can uh, if you're worried about it being a little too straight here you can bend that tube a little bit there and get a little flex on it and if you want to go a little extra like I did you can go ahead and add this little do flicky uh, I found it on the uh, thingiverse and it just goes into the screw slot there and it basically just adds like an extra support and guide to make sure that this doesn't pull upwards and rub against stuff. So even if you don't have an extra little piece of tubing like this, you can also print one of these, stick it in there, and this will pull this down and keep it from rubbing on the top of that. It may eventually wear out this, but you can print another one in a couple of minutes. So that's a handy little tip for you.